Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your April 2023 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Libra and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently single, partnered up, perhaps you've gone through a challenging situation with someone close to your heart, we'll dive into all the energies. Just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Libra, some sort of ending may have happened in the recent past, or it could be something that's happened five years ago, but you're still reeling through this ending because you have the cow skull, which can be something quite abrupt. Now, it doesn't mean that there was an immediate end to a relationship, although for a lot of you it certainly was, but I do he feel here for you, there was some sort of sudden change or a shift. It could have been a tower moment or you may have lost feelings that you've had for someone if you've been together for quite some time or there could have been some truths exposed. So I do feel that there was some sort of ending. Now it doesn't have to just be with a lover or an intimate partner. This could be with a family member. It could be with a sister, a sibling, a child, a parent, a friend, but there was an abrupt ending that had impacted you in a very, very big way. Now, in the present month of April, you have the padlock, which is about not being uh, available for maybe someone's time, energy, and efforts until they show you that either they've changed or you're opening yourself up because you've healed, you've been working through some self-healing. I'm getting here the books card as well, which is about you educating yourself learning about something, learning about why relationships uh, fail. Some of you may have went on Google, should I leave this relationship? Or, uh, you know, hopefully you are doing your own research as well by listening to your own intuition. But I'm getting here that you've been wanting answers. So you may have even seeked out a, a psychic, a therapist, a coach, a mentor. But I feel like a lot of you are opening yourself up to something that you'd been shut off from, some sort of ending that it happens and the reason the padlock is showing up with saying not available this is actually shown up for quite a few signs is because vulnerability is key right that literally is the key that's going to unlock this padlock here so whether you've shut yourself down to a person in the past which may certainly be the case now is the time for you to do the uh, inner work so regardless of relationship status if you are with someone there could have been an argument that ended in someone walking away. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you broke up with this person. There could have been a confrontation where someone just left, right? You may have been partnered with someone who you had a little bit of a separation. You needed to separate either physically, emotionally, mentally. I feel it's to get some sort of new reevaluation of what is going on between the both of you. And if you are single, there could be an ending to being single, right? There may have been someone that you met spontaneously. Boom, there's an ending. I'm no longer single like I have been, but I feel more so with this cow skull. It may have been for those of you that were partnered up, or this could be a family member or a friend. Now, I like this padlock showing up. And uh, before each and every reading that I do for the uh, all the signs, whether it's career, whether it's love, whether it's, you know, the bonus or the monthly, I always tune in to the energy of the universe and I ask spirit, okay, what does the collective, what does our intuitive soul tribe need to know? What is the, the common theme that's going to maybe show up throughout all readings, even though each sign, there will be different cards and there will be a different, a little bit of a different energy, but a main theme. And I kept hearing vulnerability. So if you happen to check out your other signs, your their placements or maybe watch for someone else, your husband or wife or spouse or partner, you may hear that vulnerability or even this card has shown up for quite a few of you is a very, very important factor. So anything that has shut you down in the past, 
Now, this doesn't mean that it happened yesterday. It doesn't mean that it, you know, happened uh, last month. It could be something that you were harboring and holding and storing within your body, Libra, for years, for some of you, and it may have really impacted you in a big way. April is the month for you to unlock something within yourself that had built up resentment, that had built up fear, that had built up insecurities, that built up lack of self-worth, that told yourself, I'm not good enough, or that this person isn't going to love me, I'm not worthy enough. All of those fears and insecurities that we have, this is the month for you to become vulnerable and unlock that key to your heart. All right, in the near future, you may be taking a vacation. There's some sort of up an upcoming adventure on the horizon. And you may be thinking, Melissa, how do we go from that deep, intense energy to boom, futuristic of adventure? It's because you're opening up. And when you open yourself up here after a time of being closed off, and we'll clarify more as we get into your reading this padlock, but I'm feeling intuitively, if you've been shut down to love, if you've shut someone down, or if you've just been single for quite some time, this this is the time for you to open yourself up to new ways of being, new ways of doing, researching, undergoing some deep healing, some shadow work for a lot of you. You are getting ready for an upcoming adventure, whether it's emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, in matters of the heart. Get ready to buckle up here because there's something fun coming in here for you, Libra. So let's dive into your energy and see what is showing up here for you. Let's take a look. Which deck do I want to use? All right. We're going to dive in and we're going to use this deck. All right, what is the main energy, the key theme for Libra in the month of April? What do we have here for Libra? Three of Pentacles, the teamwork makes the dream work. We cannot be vulnerable just with ourselves, right? We have to have another energy. We have to have partnership, connections. That's what our soul longs for and our soul craves. You can find a person that may say, I'm independent, I'm single, I don't need no one. But I can guarantee if you ask them, are you happy? Are you happy being, uh, you know, being single, not having one person in your corner? I feel like if they tell you yes, it's probably not the truth. Now, this is about connections. It's about partnerships. It is about chipping through that brick wall. Take a look at that flower. It's made of brick. And flowers aren't supposed to be made of brick. And neither is your beautiful heart here, Libra. So when the Three of Pentacles shows up, this is teamwork, cooperation, collaboration is key. There is no I in team, right? And so I feel like a lot of you are partnering up here, you are finding ways, finding solutions, unknown sources may show up to help. If you've been asking for guidance, if you've been asking for clarity, for help, for support, this is the month for you to receive it. Receptivity is key. Now, when we have a little bit of that block up, right, when we have this padlock on the heart, we don't allow ourselves to receive heart you know, heart connections. We don't allow ourselves to receive help. We put up a hand and say, no, I got it, right? Someone opens the door for you, great. Uh, but someone says, can I help you carry a bag? No, no, I'll just carry 20 bags, 10 on each arm, I got it, right? Yes, it, you are strong and you're independent, Libra, and yes, you can be single and you can do all these things, but the heart wants what the heart craves, which is connection, right? That's what we are here to do is be love, be you know in the energy of love and share, connect, belong, community, soul tribe, love. This is what's happening for you this month. Let's take a look at the challenge. What is the challenge here for Libra in the month of April? Right away. All right. How would you like spirit? Okay. You have quite a few. How would you like these? Thank you. You have staying open. Remember in the very beginning here, we talked about uh, educating yourself, knowledge, either doing the, the work or You've been searching, you've been learning, maybe taking a class, working with a healer, a mentor, a therapist, a coach. You may be discovering things that maybe you didn't think possible. The challenge for you with this page of wands is to go on this, this 
new adventure, right? That's what's showing up here. It's in your near future. So I know you're opening yourself up to it, but the page of wands is about an opportunity for growth, Libra, an opportunity for maturity. And sometimes we get unpredictable, right? Sometimes it may seem dangerous and it may seem risky to open ourselves up and be vulnerable with another person because we feel, well, none of them are matching our energy. We're just going to stay single, right? Right there is a belief, a limiting belief that actually blocks and prohibits us from attracting the type of love or we attract people that have the same belief and then you jive, right? And then you're not able to fully open up because both of you are closed off. And when this shows up as the challenge, Page of Wands says you are beautifully flawed and that is a part of uh, your perfection right we can have these external flaws we can have these things about us but loving ourselves unconditionally and seeing through them with through others you see the magnifying glass some of you you may really be picking and pointing out specific things that may be may be difficult on your journey. There could be judgments, there could be criticism, but you may be saying magnifying, magnifying someone's energy and really paying attention to every single little bit and piece and it may really bother you for some of you and that can be a challenge. You may be saying, I really don't like the way that person eats their food, right? I don't like that they use their fingers or I don't like that that person leaves the bathroom door open. I don't like how they throw their socks on the floor and don't pick them up. So you're really zoning in on the flaws is what I'm getting for some of you. If you are in a partnership or if you live with someone, this could even be your own children and I feel like it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety. Now, for those of you that are single, you may have your your eye, your scope on something that, now I don't want to say it doesn't exist because it's good to have, you know, healthy boundaries and what we want. We, we want, you know, trust and reliability and we want these things, but I feel like they're, you're zoning in on maybe even the imperfections or the flaws. Well, this person does that. I'm really not going to love that. Or this person isn't my height or they don't have the, the eye color I want, whatever it is. So I'm just feeling that the challenge for some of you is to, at times, take Take down that magnifying glass. Allow yourself to be vulnerable and open up and just see with the eyes of the heart, not the head. Because sometimes that head can overthink. It can overanalyze, especially being an air sign. You can play some story in your mind. The second, let's say you go on a, a blind Tinder date, right? And you walk into the restaurant. And you see your, your date sitting there and immediately the head starts to go crazy and you say, oh, I'm immediately looking at the way they dress, the way that they are presenting themselves. I'm looking at what they're drinking and who they're talking to. And so you start to paint this story and this image in your head because that's what the ego does because it creates safety, right? That's the purpose of the ego, to try to protect, to try to narrate, to try to tell yourself a story. The the key or the, the issue with that at times is sometimes that story mostly all the time is it's an, an illusion and we start to to believe that that story is the story that's the truth but it's not so the challenge for you this month libra is to push through the illusions and to see the truth of a situation and for those of you that are struggling in a relationship it's important to ask because your person may not be able to, if ever, read your mind. So it's important to ask for what you want instead of expecting it. Instead of expecting them to read your mind or expecting them uh, to know what's wrong with you. And then you grit your teeth and you say, I'm fine. Really, the socks are really bugging me. The socks are just a, a minor problem to what's building up and building up within you here. So let's take a look at the foundation. You have another three showing up. This is going to be a month of creativity, harmony, advancement, overcoming some of those issues that you have had around relationships. So when you have the three of wands shows, showing up here, this is about patience, a lot of you. This is in your foundation as well. So even though Libras aren't always known for their patience, you do have some, right Libra? And this is about finding that balance, finding the balance. When do I really get worked up over something? Is it even worth getting worked up over? Can I see through some sort of illusion with that magnifying glass? Okay, the three of wands is about making a choice. Do I wanna invest in this? Do I wanna open my heart up and invest in a relationship or invest in the one I'm currently in? Or do I stay in my comfort zone? 
We rarely grow in our comfort zone. True vulnerability takes courage. And that's when we step outside of that zone, right? And that's what I see you doing in your foundation is being able to look and see the big picture. What is it that you want? You want love? Then stop telling yourself that you're okay being single and you're fine being single. And that's, you know, you're okay if you uh, being on your own. Yes, that may be the case. You may be doing well and you may be doing great being single and that's fantastic. However, if you crave and you want intimacy and you want love and you want partnership, or perhaps you are with a partner and you want that connection to be stronger, there's some sort of story you are painting in your head, Libra, that's not always helping. So take a look at what that story is and is it true or is it an illusion that you can shatter and rebuild a new story by talking, by communicating, by collaborating and working together. Now, in the recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you may have met someone new. Some of you may have opened yourself up or were working on self-love because the Ace of Cups is a soul-quenching renewal. It can be about a brand new love connection, which sounds counterintuitive because you have an abrupt ending here, but some of you decided to focus on you. And sometimes that can be shadow work, right? That can be an abrupt ending to an old way of doing things, an old way of thinking, an old belief belief pattern and you are focusing on relationship with self first even if you're in a relationship because you're realizing Libra that you can't drink from an empty cup and Libra is the sign of relationship is the sign of love is the sign of connection right but it's equally important for you not to be an over giver or to constantly be putting that energy out there 90% always or even more. And it's hard to sometimes allow someone else to give you because what's left is that 10%, right? It's important to have healthy boundaries and ask for what you want and not build resentment because that can be a really big thing that I find with a lot of people is they do build up that resentment and then it stacks on layer after layer after layer. And it can really shut you down when it comes to fully and truly loving loving on that deeper unconditional level. So let's see what you're manifesting, Libra. What's coming in for you? All right. What is coming in for Libra? Page of Cups, a new love offer, or this is about you opening up your heart. So literally what we've been talking about. So I love how you're getting double energies, double threes, double pages. Page of Cups is all about some sort of new news, it could be a message, it could be an incoming text, someone may be apologizing even or expressing how much they love you, how much they care about you, that they want to be with you, or this is something you are manifesting, which could certainly be a new love connection. Even if you are in a relationship, you are shifting up the dynamic of the energy in that relationship. For those of you that are single, I feel like you're starting to open your heart up to become more vulnerable, to become more playful because sacral chakra is really highlighted, which is about two inches below the navel, navel and that is all about pleasure and creativity and uh, also relationships with self and others. So I do feel like a lot of you are releasing and embracing that inner child. You may be having a lot of fun and you also have this adventure showing up. So you're getting excited about something here, getting excited about an event or a date uh, or the way a relationship is going, or you're feeling good about yourself, confident, even if you're single, you're ready to get out there and maybe mingle a little more. Let's see what's showing up in the near future. What do we have for Libra in the near future? The Empress. Oh, gorgeous energy, Libra. The Empress is the most abundant, fertile, loving, nurturing, caregiving energy that there is, right? She has a, a baby in her womb. This is literally sacral chakra. This is all about you birthing new energy, some of you new life into the world. So if you are trying to not get pregnant, you may want to take precaution. For others of you, it doesn't have to just be pregnancy, but it's that nurturing, mothering quality. You're taking care of yourself, filling your cup as well. And that's going to help you nurture and grow all of the relationships around you, including that relationship that you do have with self. So this is your energy here of even healing, maybe some mother wounding within you. Some of you may even receive a message from uh, your mother, whether she's in spirit or in the physical world. There could be some sort of news showing up here that brings uh, some emotional 
emotional uh, vibes your way. We'll call them emotional vibes because I feel like it's it's going to be heartfelt. So heartfelt communication, possibly between you and a mother, or if you are a mother yourself, it could be you and your child, or this is you really feeling good about who you are. Empowerment, right? She's creative. She's fertile. She is the uh, epitome here of a goddess, right? So it doesn't matter if you're female or male, but you are embracing the feminine aspects of receptivity, which is about receiving, right? Because you're being vulnerable and opening yourself up and you know that that is the key to abundance, right? So wonderful showing up. Let's see how you are feeling. Someone, someone, not all of you, may also be in the presence of a person who is motherly or like a mother as well, it doesn't have to be blood. It can be, you know, an aunt. It can be a grandma. It can be, uh, you know, a, a spouse's part or excuse me, a spouse's parent, spouse parent as well. All right, let's take a look, Libra, and see how you're feeling. This is all about you. Okay, seven of swords in reverse. Getting honest with yourself because some of you had to do what you had to do. Self-preservation, right? She, This snake here is disguised. She had to steal this egg here to, to what? Survive, right? She, she disguised herself, painted this pretty picture so no one would know she's stealing this. Sometimes, Libra, you may disguise your pain as well. You may put on a facade. You may paint a pretty picture and say, I'm okay. These things are, you know, okay. But deep down, there's something here that you may feel hurt about. You may not want to have the conversation because you like to keep the peace, Libra. But it's when we have those hard conversations that we grow and that we evolve. I feel like you're ready to grow and ready to evolve. You're ready to come up out of this and you're ready to share Whatever's been on your mind, share some sort of hurt that you've been through here. This is all about vulnerability, right? The seven of swords showing up, especially in reverse, is something's going to get revealed. There's some sort of exposure here. Someone may have been caught even. Uh, there could have been an abrupt ending because there was some sort of truth er exposed. Now, I'm not saying you were cheated on. Some of you may have been, but some of you... I'm getting that there was some sort of dishonesty in the past. Now, this could have been five years ago and caused this abrupt ending, but you may have subconsciously been unaware that it was still affecting your energy and it's actually starting to shake up, shift up, and you're going to heal it, release it. You're going to feel it first, right? Something that maybe has been uh, difficult for you, but it's going to allow you to unlock that piece of yourself, right? It's going to allow you to not feel like you have to hang on to some sort of pain, some sort of dishonesty, some sort of betrayal that had caused you pain, Libra. So really powerful. Let's take a look and see what is going on in your circumstances. What's going on around you? What's going on in your world? Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. There's some Something here you, you can't believe that you're finally releasing this or it could be a pain or something's happening. I feel like there's a little bit of a lack of belief here that something is finally happening, coming true, or it's something you've been wanting or wishing, I will say. But the Nine of Cups, I'm getting that there is some sort of achievement here and there's going to be emotional fulfillment. Maybe you hear from this person that you haven't heard from from five years. They hurt you deeply and they give you an apology and say, I'm sorry. And you're thinking, whoa, I wanted that. That was a wish that I had and wanted a long time ago. I can't believe this is showing up now. Maybe it's something that someone had hurt you, right? And they're realizing their actions and it surprises, it takes you by surprise because you've wanted this. Uh, for others of you, you may be really making progress in a relationship and it takes you by surprise because both of you are willing to, to expose yourself, right? Because seven of swords can be about exposure. It can be about vulnerability. And I do feel here that there's a wish fulfillment or something that you've wanted, but it may take you by surprise. So let's take a look at the hopes and fears. What do we have for Libra hopes and fears in April? The justice. Here you are, Libra. You want balance, of course. It's your sign. It's your scales. And the fear here is so much imbalance that you decide to fight or flight, right? You decide to walk away or you decide that there's a situation that wasn't 
just, it wasn't fair, it was imbalanced, but you seek the truth. The truth, is, you want the whole truth, nothing but the truth, even if it hurts. And I feel like something needed to be said, something may have been done, yes, it hurt, but it's actually going to cause for balance. And even though this is a hope and fear because of your surrounding cards, I do feel like there was something that was imbalanced. This is the time for you to get open, to get clear, to get vulnerable, and work on some of the shadows, work on some of the healing, work on some of the pain and the release. Cut some cords, Libra. You are holding this knife. You have what it takes. There's going to be some sort of communication that comes out in the open that's going to bring about balance, even if it's painful, even if you have to have those hard conversations, because whew, this is something that you are manifesting as well. You're manifesting more balance by being more open with another person or with yourself, getting truthful and honest with yourself about what you've been dealing with, healing, or some sort of mistruths or illusions that you've been painting in your mind. So let's take a look at the final outcome for Libra. What is the final outcome for Libra, please? There it is, Libra. Wheel of Fortune. Fate intervening, destiny, luck, fortune, chance, something you've been waiting for for quite some time. And I feel like it, I don't want to say it's going to surprise you, but I'm, I'm kind of getting that energy of surprise because this wheel of fortune, you see here that she's holding a, that time watch. Some of you may be getting pregnant and you've been trying forever. Okay. Uh, some of you also, oh goodness. Okay. Please take this as it resonates. There could have been an abrupt ending to uh, a, a pregnancy as well, whether through through miscarriage, through whatever force uh, showed up here for you, it's not going to resonate with everyone and it may have been very difficult for you and your partner and your own self-healing and self-love, but you're talking about it instead of, instead of holding it in, Libra. Please only take that as it resonates for you. Now, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a very beautiful card of a turning point in your life. This is about good luck. It's about divine timing, fate, fortune, destiny intervening here. It is about the cycle of life. There's a turning point showing up here and you can see the heart is highlighted. And I feel like there's going to be a very momentous time that's going to allow you, Libra, to head towards this upcoming new adventure, this new energy, this new life here. Because you have, yes, the challenge is the page of wands, but stay curious because you have this new adventurous side coming in here and your luck is about to change especially for those of you that thought I've been in this never-ending loop, I've been in this cycle, this repetitive pattern with this relationship where I've been trying to get pregnant forever, I've been trying to look for love forever, whatever this is here for you, Libra, the timing is right. I love this. All right, last but not least, let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And for those of you that are interested in any of the decks that you see used during your reading or any above, you can find all of that information in the description box below, including if you've undergone a tower moment, if you are struggling with blocks and limitations, maybe you want to hone in more on your spiritual gifts, I did link all of the collective readings. That means it's for each and every one of you, anyone that feels attracted uh, or it resonates or it's calling out to you, there may be something in that message. Those are very, very powerful, divinely guided messages. So you have truth be told. So this is what we've been talking about here, Libra, truth. Again, you want the whole truth, nothing but the truth. 14. 14 is also the card of temperance, which is timing, which is balance, which is blending the energies. And you actually have that as your, you know, final outcome, wheel of fortune. And I just turned right to the page. Beautiful. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial. Hello, seven of swords. You're coming out of denial about a situation. Pat yourself on the back, Libra. This is about being transparent, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication, everything we've been talking about. And the relationship message is this. People tell you who they are very quickly if you are willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. 
Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. We literally talked about that here as well. So I'm going to read the protection message as well because some of you because we do have the seven of swords and it's completely jiving with uh, in a positive way of what what this message is it says where are you being dishonest with yourself or others if you are unhappy in any area of your life look for signals or signs of denial this can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms. Ask for the truth. Even if you don't like what you hear, acknowledging it will be key, will be key, which we talked about. There is the key to the padlock. This will be key to a beautiful new future where you no longer labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose on you. Set yourself free, Libra. Nothing less than the truth is required now. Very, very powerful energy here. I love this. So this is a really synchronistically divine reading. I love how everything flows together here for you. I hope this resonates. I hope it, it matches uh, what's going on. And you know that there's some really fortunate and fortuitous changes coming into the near future, Libra. If this resonates with you, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much, Libra, for tuning in. Lots of love.